Oh, well, there you go. Who knows? In the future, maybe there'll be loads of insect restaurants everywhere around Ireland. Ooh, I don't think so. I mean, I know it's nutritious, but I don't quite believe that it's delicious. You'll get there, Benicia. You will get, get there. there. Now, Beetle we burgers are all around. We are in here on Elevate in the Elevate Hen Pen for a very good reason today, because the guys at Little Hill Animal Rescue and Sanctuary are running Operation Hen Rescue this month. To tell us more about it, it's Susan and the hens themselves. But before we chat to them, uh, it's time to say hello to Paige. Uh, Pauline McGlynn, who is of course loved for her Jenny Stitch Up series, and uh, Mrs. Doyle in Father Ted. Hello, Pauline. Hello from <laughs> lovely London. This is a little bit like Hen Eurovision, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Phoning in the votes. Um, uh, uh, Pauline, how did you get involved with Little Hill Animal Rescue? Well, I began to follow Little Hill on Facebook, um, which is a great way, I think, of keeping in touch with all of the issues that you're worried about. And I saw that they had other animals, that they had rescued horses. They've got a sheep called Sean. There were several million D cats, um, a huge big pig called Peppa, who was rescued from a battery existence as well. Um, and then I saw that they were doing the hen rescue and I just wanted to be able to help out. You have, you have become patron and you're helping out loads by knitting little jumpers for our lovely hen friends and yeah. we have of course Melissa and Pauline the hen here as well and Susan who uh, is kind of uh, a little hill animal rescue and sanctuary representative so um, can you tell us how much it means to you guys to obviously have Pauline knitting hens being a patron and spreading good word uh, about what you're doing well it's fabulous I mean we've we've gotten thousands of homes as a result of Pauline uh, getting the word out for us and I mean Everyone seems to love Pauline, so um, <laughs> everyone's really eager to help. I mean, we've jumped, we've people offering to knit jumpers from all over the world. Can you tell us a bit day. about the jumpers? Uh, who came up with this idea? Um, well, it's, I think um, it's always been the case. You know, if say people have three pet hens, you know, they want to do everything they can for them. So the as you can see, Pauline has very very few feathers, and it's Why too cold. Why is that? For what happened to Pauline? They generally, I think it's pretty much a year of of being locked in a cage in the dark. You know. So our little hens have basically been through a lot. Yes, very um, stressed. In, in their lives. Yes, very stressed. You and know. you want people to give them lovely homes. Yes. What are they like to actually have as pets or have around the home? They're just fantastic. Everybody without fail who, who rehomes hens from us, you know, will come back a couple of weeks later and just photos of the hens sitting on the sofa beside them, <laughs> <laughs> um, knocking at the back door. You know, they love them. Yeah. And on the plus side, you might get some eggs. <laughs> lovely, your own lovely cruelty-free eggs. So what more could you want? Exactly. Now, Pauline, do you have any pets yourself? Have you maybe decided to adopt a couple of hens? Well, I have two rescue cats um, and uh, they live in, in Dublin. My mother's looking after them at the moment. Um, so I, I haven't been able to take any hens this time out, but I really, in the future, I would love to because I think this is one of the really important things about the rescue is that it's putting a spotlight on the fact that we need to know where our food comes from. And I have to say to all of the younger generation out there that animal welfare is, you know, it's really important because what we eat is who we are as well so it's it's human welfare it's so that true here and i think that that's what the younger generation are going to grow up knowing they're going to know where their food is coming from and they're going to be curious and i think if we can just teach everybody a little bit of respect for the animals that are doing so much for us and for the earth then you well, know our pauline done. you're doing actually a wonderful amount of work yourself for the hands and the animals and we thank you so much for joining us and taking time out of your schedule we've run out of time unfortunately so but we actually good. could talk for ages and of course hear the stories of all the uh, the hens and susan thank you so much for coming in and, and once again animals. to find out more little hill animal Rescue.ie is the website we can go out to find out and of course hopefully adopt some hens if you can. But now yes. it's straight over to the gang in Brainfeed who are answering today's big question.